Welcome. Today, we meet the Armadillo, nature's little tank, a marvel of evolution whose armored shell and surprising abilities have helped it thrive across the Americas. The Armadillo's shell is its signature, a living fortress of bone and keratin unlike anything else in the animal kingdom. This remarkable adaptation is both shield and symbol, a testament to the power of evolution to craft ingenious solutions for survival. The shell is not just a passive barrier, it is a dynamic, living part of the armadillo, growing and changing as the animal matures. This carapace is made of bony plates called scutes, each one interlocked and connected by bands of flexible skin. These bands are the secret to the armadillo's surprising agility, allowing it to twist, turn and even curl into a tight ball when danger looms. The shell is not rigid like a turtle's, but instead, it moves with the animal, providing both protection and freedom. The nine-banded armadillo's name comes from these flexible bands, which give it agility. With each step, the bands flex and shift, letting the armadillo navigate dense undergrowth and burrows with ease. This flexibility is crucial for escaping predators and foraging for food in challenging environments. The shell covers the head, back, sides, and tail, leaving only the underbelly exposed. This near-complete coverage acts as a suit of armor, shielding the armadillo from bites, scratches, and even the crushing jaws of larger animals. Only the soft, vulnerable belly is left unprotected, a calculated risk in the design of this natural armor. When threatened, predators face a wall of armor, not soft flesh. The armadillo can quickly curl up, tucking its head and legs beneath its shell, presenting an impenetrable barrier. Many predators are left frustrated, unable to find a weak spot, and often give up the chase. Young armadillos are born with soft skin that hardens over weeks, making them vulnerable until their armor forms. During this time, they rely on the safety of their burrow and the protection of their mother. As their shells gradually harden, they gain the independence and security needed to venture out into the world. Each plate is a product of millions of years of evolution, a portable sanctuary. The intricate patterns and tough material are the result of countless generations adapting to survive in a world full of threats. The armadillo's shell is a masterstroke of survival, letting it carry its castle wherever it goes. Whether foraging for insects or crossing open ground, the shell is always there, a constant companion and shield. Nature's solution, protection in a world of predators. The armadillo's living armor is a marvel, a perfect blend of strength, flexibility, and evolutionary ingenuity ensuring its place in the wild for generations to come. Look closely at the armadillo's feet. Each claw is a marvel of natural engineering, perfectly adapted for a life spent beneath the surface. These claws aren't just sharp, they're strong, curved, and capable of breaking through tough soil and tangled roots with surprising ease. With these formidable tools, the armadillo unearths a hidden world beneath our feet. It forages for insects, grubs, and other invertebrates which make up the bulk of its diet. Every scoop of earth brings it closer to a meal, as it sniffs out the faintest scent of prey. But digging isn't just about food. The armadillo is also a master architect, carving out elaborate burrows that twist and turn underground. These tunnels are more than just holes. They're carefully constructed shelters, offering protection from predators and the harsh elements above. Some burrows can stretch up to 20 feet in length, with multiple chambers and exits. Inside, the temperature stays cool and stable, making it the perfect refuge during the heat of the day or the chill of night. Here, armadillos raise their young, safe from danger. When threatened, the armadillo's first instinct is to dig. It can vanish underground in seconds, anchoring itself with its powerful claws. This makes it nearly impossible for predators to pull it out, turning the earth itself into a shield. Digging is both a way to find food and a primary line of defense. Whether searching for a meal or escaping danger, the armadillo's claws are always at work, tirelessly shaping its world. Watching an armadillo dig is like witnessing a living machine in action. Its front feet move in a blur, flinging soil behind it with astonishing speed. In just minutes it can disappear from view, leaving only a fresh mound of earth as evidence. The claws are the engines of its subterranean life, driving it deeper and deeper into the ground. Each movement is precise, each dig purposeful, a testament to millions of years of evolution. The armadillo's connection to the earth is absolute, its food, its home, and its safety all come from below the surface. It is a creature defined by its relationship with the ground, living in harmony with the hidden world beneath our feet. 
Every burrow, every tunnel, every chamber is built with its own hands, shaped by instinct, necessity, and the relentless drive to survive. The armadillo's world is one it creates for itself, one scoop of earth at a time. For the armadillo, survival is a matter of digging deep, into the soil, into the earth, and into the very heart of its wild secret world. Armadillos come in many sizes, about 20 species, each adapted to its niche. The nine-banded armadillo, common in North America, is medium-sized, about two to three feet long. At the extremes, the giant armadillo can reach five feet and over 100 pounds, while the pink fairy armadillo is just six inches long. The giant's claws are immense. The pink fairy's shell is delicate and pink. This size range shows the armadillo's adaptability. Each species is perfectly suited to its environment. From tiny to massive, all are masters of their domain. The armadillo blueprint is endlessly versatile. Armadillos are true natives of the Americas, with their roots in South America. They expanded north after the continents connected, with the nine-banded armadillo leading the charge. Once found only in Texas, they now range as far north as Nebraska and east of Florida. Their adaptability lets them thrive in forests, suburbs, and farmlands. High reproductive rates and the ability to cross rivers fuel their spread. Climate change is helping them push even further north. Armadillos are living links between continents, a symbol of migration and survival. Their journey continues, reshaping the wildlife of the new world. Armadillos are habitat generalists, thriving wherever the soil is diggable. In the U.S., they roam forests, grasslands, and even suburbs, always seeking soft earth for burrows. Dense undergrowth offers cover and food, while open fields provide foraging grounds. In South America, they inhabit rainforests, scrublands, and sandy dunes. Some prefer riversides, others arid plains. Their adaptability to wet, dry forest or field is key to their success. If there's ground to dig and food to find, the armadillo can call it home. Armadillos are omnivores with a taste for insects. Beetles, ants, termites, and grubs are staples. Their keen sense of smell helps them locate prey buried deep underground. They also eat spiders, snails, small reptiles, and even scavenge carrion or raid bird nests. When insects are scarce, they'll eat fruit, berries, and roots. Sometimes they dig up gardens, but their appetite for pests often benefits farmers. This flexible diet means they rarely go hungry. The armadillo's menu is as adaptable as the animal itself. Digging is the armadillo's way of life. Food, shelter, and safety all come from the earth. Their main burrow is a complex tunnel with chambers for nesting and sleeping. Burrows regulate temperature, protecting them from heat and cold. Armadillos maintain several burrows using smaller ones as emergency bolt holes. If danger appears, they vanish underground in seconds. Their digging is efficient. Front claws tear, hind feet kick dirt away. The armadillo is defined by its connection to the soil, a true subterranean architect. Armadillos are solitary, foraging alone and marking territory with scent. Social encounters are brief, usually just a sniff before parting ways. Mating season brings temporary interaction, with males tracking females by scent. After mating, the male leaves, only mothers stay with young. Pups follow their mother for months, learning to survive before dispersing. This solitary life reduces competition and disease. It's a quiet, self-reliant existence. The armadillo's world is one of independence. When danger approaches, armadillos have a remarkable set of strategies at their disposal. They can sprint away with surprising speed, darting through the undergrowth, or use their powerful claws to dig rapidly into the earth, vanishing from sight in seconds. These quick reactions often give them just enough time to evade predators in the wild. But when escape isn't possible, armadillos rely on their most iconic feature, their tough protective armor. This natural shield is made of overlapping plates providing a formidable barrier against teeth and claws. Among all armadillo species, only the Brazilian three-banded armadillo and its close relatives possess the extraordinary ability to roll themselves into a perfect, seamless ball. By tucking in their head, legs, and tail, they seal every vulnerable spot, encasing themselves in a sphere of bone and keratin. Their shell is uniquely shaped and flexible, allowing the edges to lock tightly together. This adaptation makes them nearly impenetrable to most predators. 
who find themselves unable to pry the armadillo open or bite through its tough exterior. Most armadillos, like the widespread nine-banded species, can't perform this rolling trick. Instead, they rely on their agility, leaping straight into the air when startled or digging furiously to escape underground, out of reach from danger. The rolling defense is a brilliant evolutionary solution, unique among mammals. It's a testament to the diversity of survival strategies found in nature, and a perfect example of how animals adapt to their environments in unexpected ways. For predators, the armadillo ball is an unsolvable puzzle. Frustrated, they often give up after several failed attempts, unable to find a weakness in the armored sphere. This passive, patient defense means the armadillo simply waits out the threat, remaining motionless and protected until the danger passes. It's a strategy that requires both resilience and trust in their natural armor. The armadillo's armor is more than just protection. It's a masterpiece of survival engineering, honed by millions of years of evolution to keep these remarkable creatures safe in a world full of predators. Armadillos are full of surprises. Despite their heavy armor, they're skilled swimmers. They gulp air to float or walk underwater, crossing streams with ease. This ability has helped them expand their range. On land, their eyesight is poor, but their sense of smell is extraordinary. They detect food and danger by scent, navigating a world of odors. Their brain is wired for smell, not sight. These hidden skills, swimming, scent, digging, make them versatile survivors. The armadillo is more than meets the eye. Armadillos are resilient but face threats from habitat loss and road mortality. Some species like the giant armadillo are now vulnerable. Protecting their habitats is crucial. They aerate soil and control pests playing vital ecological roles. Every creature matters in nature's web. By understanding and valuing armadillos, we help ensure their survival. Thanks for joining us to discover the hidden world of nature's little tank.